Hello everyone. Yeah. Welcome to the original gardens here at the Findhorn Foundation. I'm going to read a message today that came very early on in Dorothy McLean's work with the subtle, ra subtle aspects of the natural world. The work that led to her relationship with the devas and the angelic realms. And it's about six months in to the work that she was doing. And it's really a message from her own divine inner source as she sought to understand what this connection was and who it was that she was engaging with. So this is really from her own divine inner source. You are pioneering in the true attitude to nature, to the one life. For this attitude, it behooves you to think of everything in terms of life force, not merely an impersonal force like electricity, but as the manifestation of some being. Not only that, for these beings behind the various manifestations are conscious representatives of me. They can teach you and help you. But what you may see of them outwardly may be a lowly bee, a leaf, or a stone. Behind all is a great chain of life. Humans on earth have been given dominion over all of these on earth, but only as you too fit into the great chain of life. It is for you to stretch out and learn how to fit in, to use all of the gifts that I have given humankind for the advancement of all life according to my purposes. You are all elastic enough, if you will, to touch and enter the many realms, and it is up to you to do so with me. Extend your own nature. Be open and feel out in the fullness of the love I give you and help to make my one life become reality on all levels. So the me and the my that's part of that message is her own divine source referring to itself. And the encouragement really is for all of us, although that message is now 60 years old, um, it still has incredible relevance, I think, for all of us to engage with nature in a very different way for the sake of the planet that we all live on. Until the next time, bye for now.